guys today we got a Sakurako unboxing it's a very pretty box today it has like cherry blossoms on it and it's like a pretty pinkish color let's see what's inside it's a very pretty postcard it says, Dear Sakurako family, in Okinawa, I have found not just a destination, but a sanctuary for my spirit, where the rhythms of festivals and the embrace of the island envelop me in unforgettable experiences. With each visit, I am reminded of the power of festivals and cultural traditions to weave connections that transcend time and distance. It's a reminder of the beauty of diversity and the shared humanity that unites us all. And in the midst of it all, there is a deeper connection that resonates within me, the spirit of Okinawa's people, their warm smiles, their unwavering hospitality, and their deep-rooted pride in their culture create an atmosphere that feels like home. It's the shared moments of laughter, the stories shared over delicious local delicacies, and the bonds formed with fellow festival goers that make Okinawa feel like a second home to me. Motivated by a desire to share the warmth and joy of Okinawa with others, I felt compelled to bring forth the flavors and ingredients of this vibrant land. It is my hope that through these shared snacks, others can taste the spirit of Okinawa, forging their own connections and experiencing the beauty that this island has to offer. Enjoy the festivals of Okinawa. Love, the founder. Here's the booklet. Festivals of Okinawa, and it's the August box. So I'm a little late because right today is like September 2nd or something like that. September 5th. <laughs> Today's September 5th. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're a little late. This is like where you can like review the box. And this is probably be like the last summer themed. Summer greetings to Kuriko family. In the land of eternal sunshine and azure waters, Okinawa beckons to explorers seeking Japan's tropical paradise. As we traverse the island's verdant landscapes, we encounter the enchanting spirit of Okinawan festivals, where ancient traditions come alive with joyous celebration. You'll find culinary treasures sprinkled amongst the festivities, discovered the velvety allure of Okinawa brown sugar, a sweet treat that invokes Visions of sun-kissed shores. Embrace the delicate flavor of Okinawan salt, a gift from the sea surrounding the sanctuary, and savor the regal beni imo, a purple sweet potato that enchants with its vibrant hues and tantalizing taste. Allow your imagination to escape the warmth of Okinawa sunshine as your palate dances through a kaleidoscope of unique flavors inspired by the essence of festival celebrations. Enjoy the festivals of Okinawa. Cover Japan, Okinawa. Look how pretty that is. And it talks about the Ryukyu Kingdom, unique culture, birthplace of karate, Laman, Kokuto, Manju. I like Manju. Oh, look at them making it all. Oh, and that's Okinawan brown sugar. Ooh, yummy. All right, and then we get into the snacks. So we'll read those as we pull them out from the box. All right. Oh, I see two of these. Oh, they look like little fans and they have cute decorations. Looks like fireworks and little crabs. And now let's find it in the book. Oh, here it is here. Uchiwa Festival Cookie. Traditional Japanese summer festivals inspire the whimsical spirit of this crisp 
cookie. Shaped like a traditional Japanese uchiwa fan, this cookie is adorned with a playful firework and crab design made with honey. Wonderfully paired with tea. Next one. Cute packaging. It's decorated with fireworks. Oh, and it's right here. Perfect. Summer Sunday. This crunchy rice cracker has been bathed in a blend of honey and soy sauce, creating a harmonious balance of flavors that dance across your palate. Encased in vibrant summer packaging, each bite transports you to a sun-kissed paradise. That sounds really good. Honey and soy sauce flavor. I love when like foods are both salty and sweet. <laughs> I think it's a shape of a fish. Some kind of rice cracker it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't taste like fish. Oh, and then here it talks about the Uchiwa fan. Kokuto peanuts. Oh, look at these, so cute. Oh, there it is here. Oh, it's a sawfish. Sawfish sunbay. Reflecting the deep connection between the people of Okinawa and marine life, this authentic sunbay cracker is carefully hand-baked in the shape of a sawfish, seasoned with Fujiya secret soy sauce. It delivers a flawless fusion of umami richness and satisfying crispness. Cool. It's just like soy sauce flavored. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, this is the home item. I personally have never received one of these in the boxes before. It's beautiful. I love it. Let me fan myself. See if it works. Yes, it works. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I have to find a way to like kind of put it somewhere so I can enjoy it. That works. Can you see it? Oh, yes. Okay. Got these cute little two bunnies on here. Oh, yeah, I think <clears throat> that picture of the fan was talking about the item we received. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, so festival treats Bengada Uchiwa. The Uchiwa fan was introduced to Japan in the 14th century. These fans are a popular sight amongst Japanese festival goers. This particular fan is adorned with Okinawa's renowned Bengata design. The Bengata design was originally reserved for the nobles of the Ryukyu Kingdom. Over time, the elegant design spread to the general public. Enjoy this Bengata decorated palm sized bamboo Ichiwa fan, a fusion of functionality and beauty. Yes, it's, it is very pretty. Right, now let's find these little bunnies. <clears throat> it talks about Okinawa's sea crystals. That's cool, like how they like farm the salt from the sea. All right, I might have passed it, but it also talks about festivals. When, sometimes when they just show the picture of the snack and not like the packaging, I have a hard time finding it. So they don't have a picture of what it actually looks like. So I have to look for, okay, I'm thinking it is this one. 
Taste of the Sea Okinawan Salt Senbei. These light and refreshing crackers are a timeless delicacy crafted with a traditional recipe. Each bite offers a satisfying crunch with a subtle hint of the finest Okinawan sea salt, transporting your taste buds to the scenic shores of Okinawa. Ooh. I'm gonna guess this is pineapple manju. Oh. Pineapple mochi manju. Ooh, that's good. It sounds like it's gonna be my favorite in the box. Nestled within this manju's moist golden dough sits a chewy mochi blanket, which encases the luscious bean paste infused with the juice of Okinawan pineapples. Like a sunrise over lush palm trees, allow the snack to awaken your senses. Ooh, I kind of wish there was two of this. All right, we got some like, little donut sticks. Benny Emo Donut Boo? Bow. I'm gonna say bow. Cultivated in the fields of Okinawa, Benny Emo Purple Sweet Potatoes are known for the captivating hue and delicate sweetness. Each of these donut bows embrace the essence of Okinawa's traditional culinary heritage. Oh, okay, so it's purple sweet potato flavor. Nice. Wow, here we go full size, like a whole package. Looks like more manjus. I wish it was the whole package of pineapple ones, but hopefully um, these are a good flavor. Oh, here they are too. Tea time in Okinawa. Kokuto manju. These steamed buns are delicately infused with the essence of Kokuto, Okinawan brown sugar. Ooh, yummy. Their pillowy dough envelops a velvety bean paste, creating the perfect fusion of indulgent flavors and textures. That is so awesome that they gave us like a whole package of them and not just like one or two. That's awesome. All right, next is this. I'm not really sure what that is on the picture. <clears throat> And there's probably another one that does not have a picture of the package. So I'm going to guess it's this. Yeah, I think so. That looks like pickled daikon. <laughs> okay, so pickled daikon okaki. These rice crackers capture the smoky essence of ubu iburi gakko, a pickled radish renowned in Japan for its unique flavor. Through a smoke drying method, raw radishes are hung from the ceiling in hearse and dried day through night while oak and cherry wood is burned. The dried radish are then carefully fermented and aged in barrels with rice bran, salt, and palmello, yielding a captivating flavor that develops over two months. Hmm, interesting. I have not had that before. <clears throat> oh, this is peanuts. Kokuto peanuts. These peanuts are encased in a coating of mineral-rich Okinawan brown sugar. Oh, yummy. Kokuto, which is thought to be one of the secrets behind residents' health and longevity. With each bite, your palate is rewarded with rich notes of caramel and molasses, complemented by the satisfying crunch of peanuts. Um, I love peanuts that are, like, sweet. That's my favorite way to eat peanuts. Besides boiled peanuts, I love boiled peanuts. But, like, raw peanuts aren't really my favorite. Like, just, like, Salted maybe, but I like sweet. Wow, we have another full package of something and it's pretty heavy. 
Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks interesting. Look at Sakurko. Giving the people what they want. <laughs> Okay, did you see it? Because I did not see it. If we're going by, like, the picture. Is it just me? Okay, did you see it? <laughs> I'm really not seeing it. I don't think it's... It doesn't look like an Arare. And we haven't had that yet. Let's see. Alright. So here's the... Red Tomato Arare. The crimson hues on this Arare's packaging hint at the powerful tangy punch this bite-sized treat possesses. Sprinkled with a rich tomato power powder, these crispy snacks are a reminder of summer's bounty. Okay, so I haven't done this one yet, and I'm guessing it's this. Okinawan Chili Oil Arare. With these savory Arare crackers, Morihaku Confectionery crafts the perfect blend of heat and crunch. A dusting of Okinawan Chili Oil coats each piece to deliver a burst of spicy flavor that will ignite your palate. Okay. Am I missing a page or something? Okay, so it's not here. It's not here. It's not here. And we have tea. Here's the last thing that's in the box is the tea. Sanpin tea. This cherished tea has been celebrated for centuries in the heart of Okinawa. Not only does this tea aid in digestion, but its refreshing floral aroma and profound flavor inspires imagery of warm summer days spent on a beach. Hmm, I've never tried this tea before. That's exciting. Okay, that's not here. It's not here. We did that. 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 It's not there. We did all that. I don't think it's me. Right? <laughs> That's so weird. Hmm. Maybe I will try to look it up real quick. So I'm going to pause. Be right back. Okay, so I found it on their website for sale. It is brown sugar konjak warabi, warabi mochi. Indulge in the delightful flavors of this exquisite warabi mochi crafted with care. This slightly sweet delicacy is infused with kokuto brown sugar and made with konjak flour for unique texture. To enhance its taste, sprinkle the finest kanako powder on top, adding a touch of nuttiness to this delectable dessert. Savor every bite of this enchanting confection that beautifully combines tradition and innovation. Wow, I'm excited for that. And they're selling it for $5. But I, I'm pretty sure it's not in the book. Comment if you saw it and I missed it and I'm just blind. But yeah. <laughs> So that is everything for the August Sakurako box. My favorite thing is this. I'll probably put it in the refrigerator 
and uh, eat it. It looks like like little kind of like a uh, little bit harder like je jello cubes and it's gonna be brown sugar flavor so that's gonna be yummy. And then the next thing I'm excited is this pineapple manju. It looks like it has little pieces of pineapple in it. Very happy for a full size package with maybe like five or six little manjus. I uh, never tried this tea before, so excited for that. I'm happy like all the rice crackers, they just have like basic salt, soy sauce flavors because things that taste like seafood I don't really enjoy or that has like really strong flavors. Um, this is very cute. It's gonna be a cute addition to my desk. It's a very cute design. And I'm happy that, you know, I've received something that I've never received in a Sequerico box before. So yeah, that's it for today. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.